And also the Prophet sallallahu, uh, also the author, rahimullah, Sheikh Abdurrahman Nasr al-Si'di, in his book, he also spoke about the chapter of al luqata which is stolen items or lost property, Afwan lost property. So lost property of whose owner is not known, is unknown, then this is either an animal or something else. Um, if you think that the, there's a big probability, the major probability is that this item, it, it is not lost. For example, I'll give you an example. If we have somewhere yani outside uh, a skip in which rubbish is thrown, and then by the side of the skip, there is a chair and a computer and so the, some other commitment, uh, some other equipment, then in the majority of the cases, it's not lost property which has been left there, but somebody has placed these items near the side of the skip because they don't need them. So this, there's no problem with a person taking it. So this, we understand in our society, by our own understanding, how we operate, that these items have been placed in that area by the owner because he has no problem with anybody picking them up and taking them. Now, and if this brother says that I exited from the masjid, and if he says that as I left the masjid, I found the Mercedes of Sheikh Ibrahim, and it's ignited, and everything's working, and the AC is on and, and switched on, is he allowed to take it? And he says, but there's nobody there. It's not allowed to take it. He's not allowed to take it. Why? Because we understand in our society how our society thinks, that this hasn't been left there for people to take. Or if he exited from the masjid and at the door of the masjid there was a bike which had been left there, a bicycle. Now in the majority of cases the highest probability is according to how our society works and thinks and our customs that it is a person who has left his bike outside the masjid to come and enter and pray in the masjid and then he's going to get his bike again.